Mr. Okay. Beast. This is Mr. Beast, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't His know. Name is so we are now going to try and type Mr. Beast off of some interviews. Tears came down my cheeks. Mr. Beast, a fucking moron. Mm. I have a mental breakdown every other week. Can't be that stupid. He's rich. <laughs> like 20 million views. It's nice having you around too, because yeah. it's like a buddy to like yeah, yeah, work yeah. hard with. So yeah. I don't feel so alone late at night. What I'd like to point out immediately: how often he's smiling. There's also no furrowed brow. There's no squinting of the eyes so far. It's saying the word "like," it gives me the impression that he doesn't have a whole lot of inner monologue going on comparatively to some other types. And so I immediately want to go with uh, speculation on introverted feeling. As a preference. So, like, you always think, like, you're like, okay, for like, so, like, so it's like, it's just like, it's pretty brutal. It's pretty brutal to go out in public. <laughs> I, I would imagine, you know, someone with that kind of life, right? That, that you can't do anything. Everybody is always watching you. That has to be kind of unnerving in a way. Certainly for, for certain personalities. So, which, which personalities could we probably cross off the list immediately? ENFJ, you know, very into the whole idea of going outside and having everyone love them. Well, like, mention me or yeah. things like that just because it's like like people who are like if you ask them you know who Mr. Beast is they'll be like yeah and they'll be like what do you think of his videos and they will be like I've never seen him mm. but I know who he is wow. and which is like that has exponentially grown the last yeah. few years mm. and I'm kind of like when you're checking out there's like five people behind you like you know what are you doing what are you buying why, why are you buying those cookies and it's like oh just you know I just wanted to buy some cookies you know and like yeah. then they need to keep <laughs> this guy seems like an ISFP to me so far <laughs> Uh, I was getting that impression. Uh, pretty, the, this, uh, I guess we have to watch more, but mm, ha have you counted the number of times he used the word like so far? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I knew you were going to ask me that. <laughs> Uh, no, I have not counted, but it's been uh, several times at this uh, point, yes. So we use, in the English language, we use like to give us some wiggle room give us some time give us some space do something so that we have we can better articulate our thoughts he does not articulate his thoughts very often to himself he seemingly more relies on instinct I'm like talking to my team because they yeah. you know they obviously care what the video is out of 10 every creator does and i'm like hey team I think on this one, it's okay if we get like a, a 4 out of 10, a 5 out of 10. I, I think we can understand. Did you catch him saying like, no, they no, actually care? Did he say that? He said, yeah, he said they actually care. All right. So what did you gather from that? Well, it, definitely he didn't say I actually care. He said they, meaning that obviously they're on top of him more about, you know, those kind of things. And he's more relaxed and chill about it. So he does those yeah. videos because he likes to do them, not because... You know, he has a, a certain goal in mind for them. That's what I got from that. But, you know. No, it seems like he does this because he likes giving money to people. Mm-hmm. That's, that's his enjoyment. He, he believes that he's bringing true happiness and betterment to people's lives by uh, essentially just giving away. Uh, how many millions of dollars does he give away every year? Mm. Well, I... Every video he gives away millions of dollars. Like he has given, a, like um, I think the last video he did, like um, in a hospital, he went and and paid for a lot of surgeries for kids that couldn't see. So that's amazing. He does that, and then he put like an entire kind of like city block for his um, uh, employees, like houses. He built them houses, and he lives in like in in this studio. He lives in the, in a tiny room. That's where everything he does. It's like he doesn't even. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, so most of his money he gives it away. Uh, this man is a force for good, and uh, that's truly something I don't get to see every day. I'm, I'm going to say he, that he's most likely an ISF, ISFP. What do you think? Makes sense. Um, at the beginning, I was thinking ENFP, but I do think that ISFP makes more sense. Mm. Just because I think he's at the point in his life where, you know, he's trying to get that NI kicking in and just you know focus on uh, what he wants to do and mm -hmm. doing them not just let it pass by i mean he, of course he has a team but he's definitely he sure managing does. all these people and he, yeah he has to have a certain level of focus a uh, great focus to be able to do that in the way that he's doing it i agree all right that is the typing of uh mr beast <laughs> <laughs> it seems I, I of course would have to have a one-on-one -on -one. maybe someone can you know uh, arrange that for Ven, can you arrange a meeting between me and mr beast uh, look i'll try <laughs>
No Next. promises, bro. <laughs> Ooh, you're not <laughs> gonna agree with this one. Mr. Beast. Let's find out uh, what... Where right there, I? Jimmy. <laughs> ENTJ. <laughs> God, I love this community. <laughs> An ENTJ that gives away all his money. <laughs> uh, I knew you would like it. Uh, on, on the other hand, I, I would imagine... So, so I don't watch Mr. Beast, obviously. I... Mm -hmm. Uh, that, that's not, that's whatever, uh, he's doing great work, it sounds like, uh, you know, giving away his, you know, millions upon millions of dollars, uh, I, I don't think he lives a particularly extravagant lifestyle, so there's certain personalities you could rule out, but there's no f***ing way that an ENTJ is doing that kind of humanitarian work just to do it. I mean, we're, we're talking, you're, an ENTJ is going to donate as much money, like as much money as, as required so that they can get as many tax write-offs as possible, but that's it. You don't go a beyond, you don't go out of your way to do it. He's, a, he's an emotional man. I don't know if you couldn't notice that from the, you know, the whole like five minutes that we watched of that. Very emotional. Introverted feeling most likely in the first position, not the fourth. Uh, we got a whole four votes for ISFP, by the way. I wouldn't imagine there would be, uh, there would be more. <laughs> I, I, people have a hard time uh, seemingly understanding what it means to have extroverted thinking in the lead position. But no, uh, it seems that uh, Jimmy D. Donaldson is a very nice young man. He's, well, how old would he be now? Like 20... 27, 26, 25. There would be a lot of evidence for an ENTJ diagnosis where we're expecting, of course, excellent grades, an excellent focus on their own personal future, not caring about other people. That's that's job one for ENTJ. Going into a, a career, a field of study that he decided that he was going to work on for the rest of his life. This is not an ENTJ. This is not an INTJ. 